Moving on to the SP2001. We all know what the SP1001 is. Uh, Semi kind of horn loaded double 18 box industry standard sub for the last what? Level 21. I'm talking about the 1000. 1000, right. Basically, in a nutshell, what this, this subwoofer is, is uh, the original SB1000 on steroids. Uh, basically, it's the same design um, uh, as the original SB1000, except we've gone to 18 sound 21 inch drivers instead of 18 inch drivers. Um, the good thing we're experiencing about this subwoofer system is that um, uh, we, we're requiring less subwoofers on a job. Um, because of the high SPL and high throwability of this. And uh, much like everything else EAW is making, this thing is extremely truck pack friendly. As you can tell, there's two stacked on this cart. How many are we getting in a truck wide pack? It's a uh, two by three. We need to go two wide in a uh, 90 is, is the way we typically travel. Okay, so there you go. So these boxes weigh about 200 pounds, so a little lighter than your average, uh, even double 18 subwoofer. And, um, the single negative about this subwoofer is the amount of power it takes to, to, to really get it lit up. Uh, which brings us to the next portion of this uh, system. Right here we have, these, this is one of our subwoofer racks. Uh, each, each subwoofer rack, because the uh, drivers in the uh, SB2001s are 4 ohm drivers, um, basically these two amplifiers will run four SB2001. So these are PowerSoft K20s, which is the I think the largest power amp on the market right now, at about nine or ten thousand. Was it nine thousand ninety three hundred watts a channel at, at two ohms? Um, and it takes these four to run basically four subs. But with that said, gigs that we were normally doing with eight or ten or twelve subs, we're now doing with six or eight subs. Okay. So I mean, it's almost a fair trade off. Not 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 a complete fair trade off because it's freaking expensive but it's almost a, a fair trade-off. Down below is one of our, uh, this is a 740 rack, as you can tell on the top, it's got the uh, UX8800, which is a four by eight controller. Um, uh, probably the best kept secret in the industry, you can use this four by eight controller for anything, even non-EAW items. It's an incredibly uh, powerful DSP-based uh, processor that um, is about half the price of everybody else's 4 by 8 DSP We did some playing around with that back at the old shop, so that'd be two years ago when yeah. we were doing some stuff with wedges, I remember, and there was an awful lot of mojo in that, that box. It's, it's, um, it's, it, it's unbelievable how strong it is and, and, and what the price point is. It's, its price point is similar to um, a, a lot of the competitive 2 by 6 uh, controllers. Um, and, this it's, is it's a, and is it four by eight? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, so uh, below that we have two PowerSoft K6s, which are running the horns and the high mids, and below that are two PowerSoft K10s, which are running all of the tens and the seven uh, forties. There's four tens in each seven forty. Below that, from CBI cables, uh, we have a digital and analog I/O panel, single rack space um, setup to use to proprietary uh, UNET from EAW. So our drive snake system has gone from about a thousand pounds down to about 50 pounds all in, um, in one shot. So what, we're just running Cat5 now? Everything's Cat5, running the uh, UNET. There's a EAW UX8800 in front of house, uh, which is our basically our on link to the UNET uh, protocol. Uh, we run a primary and redundant uh, Cat5 from front of house down to our first amp rack, and we jump from there. Wow. So we we have we have the analog option just as a just because it made me feel better, and it was fifteen dollars worth of XLR connectors, so why not? So, um, but pretty much, um, uh, you can see on our wall over there, just piles of W two stuff that's for sale back over here too. We're not using it anymore. Piles of it. So if anybody out there in TV land needs some W two stuff, we've got more than world. <laughs> <laughs> so give us a call. Check them out on eBay. So basically, in a nutshell, uh, that's that's the makeup of the system. Um, uh, the next segment, we'll set some up and uh, you know give you a, a look at what the front and the backs of them look like when they're either flown or ground stacked. Um, this system is a two-man job, whether you're ground stacking them or you're flying them. It takes two guys about an hour to fly 24 boxes. Um, it takes two guys about 15 minutes to ground stack six boxes. That's pretty good. Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a pretty neat, you know, overall it's a pretty neat package, so we're real happy with it.